What up, what up? I see him his squad and welcome back, guys. Hey, it's your boy Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Now. Bam. <laughs> welcome, SNM squad. Yes, yes, yes. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys. Hey, if you're having a rough day out there, let's turn around right now with some good energy and some good content. All right. All right. So, my lovely wife. Yeah. What we got today, baby? Okay, we today we'll be reacting to 10 Minutes to Change Your Perspective Forever, Homeless Whoa, now, Preacher. What? All right, now. This was sent to us, by the way. 10 Minutes? 10 Minutes. To, to change, change our perspective, perspective forever? forever? Like changing. Okay, like, I'm a little afraid. Mm. <laughs> this might All be right. something deep. Let's see. Um... Guys, appreciate you guys Respect sending this to forever. us. We thank you so much. Go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also get inside the comment section. We appreciate it, all right? Babe, you ready to get into it? You ready? You sure? Good energy, good content. Damn, let's see what we got. This might be a good message. Let's see. You got the serious look just like y'all got. The serious, intense look. Because he's trying to find his way. He's trying to figure it out. It's frustrating. I'm trying to listen to God. I, I got my own flesh and my pulling me here, my own desires, my family, my friends. All these things is, is, is distracting me from this truth. And it's difficult to give in, especially when you're young, man. But if you can go through it, you'll come out like gold. If I can go through the fire. They don't want to go through the fire. They want to the lotto and go to Perfect. Jamaica and the Bahamas and do their own selfish thing. But he said, if you wait till I exalt you, I give you the desires of your heart. Amen. But it's difficult to wait because everybody in a hurry. Technology, it's, it's fast. It's in a hurry. They're angry. They're frustrated. Mm. They got time. They're on the cell phone. They want to text message you. Y'all in the same car. You're going to text message him. He right there. <laughs> oh, Lord. Ain't that the truth? You know what I'm saying? Everybody hurry. I don't know where they going, but when they get there, oh, they gonna be sorry. The faster you try to get there, that career, that money, and you gonna figure it out that, man, it was the journey. It was not the destination. You was in a wow. hurry to get there, to come up, to be this, to be that. And when you get there, you're going to feel discouraged more than you did before you even started to get there. Whoa. Because it was the journey. The people that you didn't stop to talk to like me at Checker. The people at the gas station. You was in a hurry to get there, but it was the journey. It was the gas station. It's Checker. It's the journey, not the destination. Because the destination is steadily evolving. We always grow in the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. It's always evolving. And we can never obtain it because it's, it's steadily, constantly evolving. The more humble you be, then the more you can be fulfilled with the truth. But when you think you got it and you're on your way, then you're going to get less of it because can't nobody talk to you. You can't wow. stop. You're in a hurry. It's a difficult thing, but you got it. I see the intensity. Especially being with him. He ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> then he talking to me. And you seeing it, you like, wow. You already amazed at his skill and what you your relationship, but he's showing you the journey. The journey. That's very important, <laughs> man. <laughs> he's showing you how to relate, connect to the people. I would say this. It's a man with pushing a basket. This man right here, they brilliant now. Don't, don't look at the outside appearance. I've seen him in action. He was pushing a basket. And I was under the bridge. And I was talking to everybody except him. He was the last person I talked to. He said, why didn't you talk to me first? He said, I should have talked. He said, don't you ever... Passed by a man pushing a basket and don't acknowledge him. I, I never do it in my life again. I talk to the person pushing that basket. How's your day? How you doing? Wow. I talk to the homeless people because they said, be careful how you entertain strangers. And most people that they came off the street and they got their career together, 
They won't even let you know that they've been through it. They try to act brand new. Amen. They, it's a testimony. What you go through, what you go through, it's for us to inspire somebody else. Right. It's for me to pull the weak ones up. It's for you to pull the weak ones up. We don't go through this because of our own selfish reasons. We go through this to give them a testimony of how far God has brought me. Mm. It was never about me. I thought about me. Why I'm going through this? He said, back up, man. Who are you going to inspire? Who are you going to tell somebody about the glory and the grace of God if you don't go through it? Get out of yourself. Woo! And once I step back, I've been seeing the deep things of God. And so I don't play with him. Uh -oh. I don't ask him for a lot. I just say, give me my, my portion for the day. Wow. I don't want a lot of things. Just give me enough that I can deal with. He said, I give you a... But, Fulfill your bond greater than you can ever ask. I know what you desire. I know what you need. But Lord, give me my portion where I can be grateful. Wow. Where I can be thankful. They unthankful. They unholy. They ungrateful. They got a job. They don't want a job. They got 40 hours. You can't work on Saturdays. You can't work on Sundays. Now you got three days. You, they always complaining and griping and murmuring. Stop it. He said be grateful with the little things. Mm. And wait and I, I put you there. But he's going to put us in a place where they appreciate me and the job. Yes. I don't hate going to work. I got to watch my back. They backstabber. You're making the money, but I can't go to the job because I got to watch my back. They hate us. Put me somewhere where I love going to work. I can get up. And they appreciate my work. And I blend in. Wow. God say, I'm, I'm going to put you there. But if you want to get it, go ahead and get it. What do you think about haters? That's a part of the, the balance in life. They hate. They don't know why they hate. Tell them why they hating sometimes. They don't know they hate. It's just standard thing. They wow. get angry. He taught. Every way we taught them. They hate. They don't even know why. Because they don't about to teach them. Mm. They don't about to take time to let them know why they're doing things they're doing. And that's the whole purpose of life. Let them know what they're doing wrong if you see it. Yeah. I always knew I was doing wrong. What about when they showed me long suffering? What about when they forgave me, but I can't forgive him? He did. He made a promise. I made a promise. I didn't fulfill it. They didn't go off on me. Well, I got to go off on him because he didn't fulfill his commitment. That's wrong. Okay, got a point. You got to teach. They don't know. The only God they know it's through you, through your experience. They don't know about church because you can't go to church because it's a business. Yeah. And all the church people, it's a clique, it's a club. And they done forgot about God. It's a business. Look at here. Wow. It's just the world. Ain't nobody being bold and talking about God because don't pray in school, take the prayer out of school, all these things. It's the world. We're getting in a time where God is not popular no more. And if you talk about it, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in God. I believe in this. I don't care what you believe in. Let my spirit speak for me. Let my action. Ooh. But it was a time when I was just a hearer and not a doer. But it got to balance out. You got to go through the fire in order to be a doer too. Wow. You're going to be a hearer, then you're going to be a doer. But All don't right. let people... Throw you off your journey. You can't beat nothing. To, it's between your relationship and God. They can't understand you all the time because you're trying to figure out your way. I'm trying to figure out my way. I can't prove nothing to them all the time. I don't need them to figure me out. All I got to do is just be patient and do what was in my ability, my boundaries. I don't need to outstep my boundaries. I ain't got to prove nothing to you. You didn't feel me? No. You can't even feel me. I can't put the expectation on you. I don't always feel me, understand me. So that's wrong. Be humble. Acknowledge him in all your ways. When I do wrong, I say something wrong to offend you. Forgive me. I got to say it right away get it over with. Yes. If I offend somebody at work, look, if, if they persecute me, look at God trying to strengthen me to show them who I serve. I say I believe I'm working with it. Well, teach them. They don't know. They don't know why they're doing that, why they're doing that to me. Let, let your light shine among men. They might glorify your Father in heaven. 
It's real, man. I experience it all the time, 24 7. But I act. Stop right there for a minute because I feel like God is using this guy. Yes. You know, to speak. Most definitely. I hear no lies here. Yeah. Everything that I hear him say is facts. You and, know. It, and it doesn't matter if you're a rich man or a poor man. It's clearly, it looks like he might be on the streets and these people might have just fed him. But he's really rich. But he got some knowledge. He's rich in information. He's rich in, you know, his spirit. He's rich in God. Absolutely. This is a rich man and people would look over him, you know. And he know the power of God. Most definitely. And he do have knowledge. Here we go, guys. Let's keep going. Here we go. But nine minutes in, it, it, it definitely got our attention. Thanks for it. I wanted to be a preacher when I was six, but I didn't know the price I had to pay. Wow. Mm. Much wisdom, much grief, much sorrow. Ain't no other way you're going to get it. But if you can just go through the fire, you'll be like gold. The first thing they do when you go to a pawn shop and take the what they do? How do they determine if it's gold plated or, or, or what? What they do? What kind of test they take it through? When you take the jury to the pawn shop, how do they determine if it's real or fake? They put it through the acid test. They put the fire upon it. That's how we know if we're real or fake. We're going to go through the fire. You're going to have disagreement with each other, but it's okay. You're going to be friends. But if you have a disagreement, it's just a disagreement. That don't mean you ain't got to see him no more and talk to her or talk to her or whatever. I want to go to work. I, I don't want to go to work because they stressing me out on the job. You feel me? They are receiving me with my full potential. And I don't know why I don't want to go to work. I got to understand why. Why don't I want the job? Because something ain't right. And I got to acknowledge it. I ain't going to sell my soul for the job. God said, I'm trying to put you over here. Or I'm trying to let you, let them know through you, let your light shine. But I'm hating on them. Because they ain't feeling me. They don't understand me. Hey, Amen. You got to teach them. You see how they flee? Yeah. They want a dollar, want a quarter. He could have got everything that he needed if he just would have been patient, but it's okay. You recording this? Yeah. It's okay. I'm telling the truth. It's all right. I thank God for you. Y'all are blessing to me. A true blessing. I ain't got nothing to hide. My burdens are heavy, but when I'm weak, he's strong through me. He speaks through me. Amen. The weaker I get, the more frustrated I get with my life. And I did this, I did that. Then the more he speaks through me, the more he takes control of me. That's just what he wants you at. Get frustrated. That's when he gonna speak through you. But you gotta, you, he gotta get you in that point where ain't nowhere else to go but to him. He said, those that I love, I correct them. I chastise them. When you go to jail, it's called the Department of Correction, Rehabilitation. <laughs> but we get mad at the correction. He said, if I didn't love you, I would correct you. He could have took our life. Amen? Amen? He could take the life. But he corrected me. I just thank God for y'all. I see it in your eyes, but this is what Solomon asked. Solomon was the wisest man that lived. He had everything that man could desire. But one thing God said, leave the fire women alone. But he couldn't understand why he had a desire for the fire women. But see, the Lord knew that they were going to turn his heart against him. They were going to make him idol worship and build a God. But he didn't understand it. Oh. And I'm going to say this, the preacher, he searched the world out. He said, I want to know the the, the basis behind wisdom and knowledge and understanding and foolishness. See, you can't know wisdom and knowledge and you be a fool. But we don't want to be foolish. That's the only way you're going to get it. You got to be a fool first. Okay. How you going to know a fool when you see a fool? How you going to know foolishness if you haven't been foolish? Okay. 
foolishness it comes with is painful. Because we think we all of that. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of abilities. We can create. We can send man to the moon. We can be inventors, but we're limited. If I understand that I'm limited, then that's when God takes control and gives me the wisdom that I, I desire. Yeah. Humility. Be humble. If you don't understand your purpose, ask God. But ask him in sincerity. What's my purpose, God? Did you ever ask that question? What's my purpose? Why I'm here? What am I meant to do? But sometimes he can't tell us all at once. It might be too much. Wow. But be sincere. He's like oh, wow. Um, I guess that was the mm -hmm. end of the video. Okay. Um, that was deep. That was really deep. That was deep. Um, he was, you know. Speaking from his heart. Speaking from his experience in life. Knowledge. He's gone through so much. You can tell he's, you know, he's been through a lot. Yes. And by you going through a lot, you learn a lot. Most definitely. You know, so it was good those guys actually recorded that and got, because that was like a little church sermon. Right yeah, there. they let him talk. They didn't yeah. really like convert. They didn't really have a dialogue. They just right. let him say what was on his yeah. mind. Yep, yeah. speak his Didn't mind. interrupt him. I mean, it was. Wow. It was an experience. You were saying some, you were saying some powerful things because um, in life, you know, we got to learn these lessons we had to learn. And yeah. God, you know, speak through people. You know, so, man, God What's bless that, that guy. You know. Wow, that God was deep. That I mean, it's a song out and it's, um, it says, what if God was one of us? Mm -hmm. And it makes you think, like, God is the creator of everything. All man, like, he created us all. Absolutely. And he put, we all possess his spirit. Yeah. Possess the spirit of God. I'm not going to say God is a he or a she, is a spirit. And that Holy Ghost spirit deep down within us is in this man. He has the spirit of God in him. Yeah. And when you read the Bible, it talks about how God, you know, his disciples and, you know, one of them was a thief. One of them wow. was a gambler, I think. I'm not going to go too deep into that because I don't really know, you know, the facts, all yeah. of the facts on that. But um, God didn't hang with, you know, I mean, Jesus didn't hang with rich people. Like he hung with the people on the streets. Yes. Healing people. Helping yeah. people. Yeah. So it's like sometimes and, we have to stop and talk and, you know, speak absolutely. to the homeless guy. And, you know, the city that we live in, you know, certain places that we go, we see these people and, you know, we don't hesitate to help them, yeah. you know, because that's what, you know, God would want us to do. Um, lend and lift a hand, you know, help someone, yeah. you know, um, in any way, shape, or form, you know, so. Wow, that was nice. Yeah. That was nice. That was empowering right there. You know, just to see guys pulled over at checkers, you know, just spreading love, spreading the word, you know, so. That was really humbling. Yeah. Like, I feel humble. I feel oh, like yeah. I want to be a better person and work on myself after right. hearing that. So because that, you never know. I mean, know. it really blessed me today. Yep. I really want to, like, just slow down. Yeah. Don't rush through life because... I want to get the experience of life. I want to get the, I want to go through the journey and understand what's right. going on and, and not trying to just get to the destination get so the destination. fast. Right. And um, at the end of the day, you know, it's, I think God would want us to do a good deed for those that need help. Yeah. You know, so um, that's our message for the day, man. Yes. You know, do a good deed if you can, because that's what God wants. Most he wants definitely. us to stick together. He don't want us to be divided. He wants us to help each other, uplift each other. Yes, we are no all his people. children. Well, um, God's children. Yes, and um, you know He created this for us. Yeah. You know, so that was a blessed message right there. Man.
Guys, go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and also give us a comment section. We want to know what you think about this, uh, about this message. You know, it's like it was just three guys just conversating, yeah, which was a good message. Most definitely. Yep. All right. So that's our time, guys. We are signing off. Thank you for watching. We appreciate the love. Hey, it's your boy, Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Mel. All right, guys. Hell to the end. We love you guys. Have an amazing day on, on purpose. purpose. That's what's up. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.